Uh, here. Quiet on set, everyone. Cody, stop. Marker. Uh, okay, how would you describe it in one word? Happy. I think he genuinely loved life and it seems like no matter what came his way he might have a couple moments of like struggling with something but then he would turn it into something positive and um, had a way of always seeing the bright side and with that huge smile of his it was just kind of contagious. I mean as a young child he was very creative and took a lot of art classes and so he would draw or do clay or design or and I think uh, I think designing on the computer things that made him happy was just the next step. I think it was a way of um, expressing things that were important to him. He had a quiet faith, didn't talk about it a lot but loved, you know kind of grew up learning about God and church and going to camps and loved the Twin Rocks experience. Um, I think uh, that's where he learned a lot and then yeah family just did a lot with my uh, close family my parents and my sister and her husband and then she has two boys that are the same age so it's just been the cousins always the cousins always the cousins and then his friends especially Cody from day one they've been friends since preschool so what's your first memory of Hayden? Goes back to what age? First memory? Uh, that's a long time ago. Probably on the playground. Yeah, probably the playground. And then I remember this one time when we had this field trip and he was just taking photos of me. And then I'm not sure if I, I know I have it in my camera roll, but he was taking photos of me. So then I grabbed it and I took photos of him. And then, yeah, it was just, yeah. yeah. How old are you there? I think four. So you were already best friends. Yeah, and then I remember we have like a photo of us with pumpkins. It's like right in front of the front entrance of the house. And yeah, that, I think that's like maybe the latest photo we go back. So I've had a few really, really good friends in life, but I haven't had a long time best friend. So explain to me what a best friend is. A best friend. Um, at least for me, was this is how I kind of explained it to like other people but it was more of like pretty much we we're like only childs and we were we were brothers and we would go to each other's houses and do pretty much anything it didn't matter like when what time where we would always like be there just with each other and it kind of like it kind of like grew it like just kept bonding us together like Pretty much it was like he would be the better half of me and then we kind of just like build it up. In elementary we kind of like disconnected but then like once I came back to Crater we were just like right there with each other. Every, every day we went everywhere together like just like they're like my family pretty much. Especially like the cut his cousins and grandparents we're all like a giant family and they kind of like brought me in with them kind of. Sean, his dad, would take him to the Timbers games mostly. I probably only attended maybe one or two with him, but Sean took him to uh, almost, I don't know, and I wouldn't say all of them, but a lot of them. And so that was a regular stop was Portland Gear and then the Timbers game. But he would have me take him down for just regular shopping at the store any old day. I remember when you're waiting in line, like, I don't even know how many hours we waited in line around the building for their for your sale, the anniversary sale. Anniversary sale. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious! Um, but we did it, and he got his grandma Karen to take him for Black Friday shopping, and has the cool rain jacket with the little misprint on it. 
typo rain jacket. <laughs> he has that quite a collection of Portland gear, but um, and then he was just thrilled when the pop up at Washington Square happened. Yeah, that's right as far. Mm-hmm. Much handier parking, easier. Um, but yeah, he. I don't know, he had my credit card in his phone and so he would just be like, Mom, look what they have now. Can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get this? So yeah. And then soccer. What was soccer to him? You guys played together sports and stuff, but Yeah. Soccer to him I think was like an anchor, you know? Like he loved soccer and even though he like dropped like baseball, basketball and all that, he always went back to like soccer and he just stuck with like soccer. I I don't know how to like describe it, but it was more like he, if he wanted to be like good at something and he kept failing, he kept trying and trying until he'd do better, kind of. So I mean, soccer, he just kept improving and improving, just like with like anything he did pretty much in life. He was into fashion and so... Um, it would, he would design shoes, different ideas of what color ways he'd want on shoes, and then it became t-shirts and ideas for different brands, like Project Perspective, and he had a bunch of like designs for that, and then Project Faithful, and he had some designs for that. So, um, so yeah, he spent a lot of time designing um, products, mm -hmm. and I think his dream was to have his own business. He really loved Portland gear. What would see in Sunshine Studios on a Portland Year shirt? Obviously, you said you'd be stoked about it, but what would that? What would that have meant? Oh, I just think. I mean, I just just even seeing his picture and thinking about it right now, like he would just be in awe of all of this. Like, wait, what? I mean, he's at my house. <laughs> he's. Um, it's just a dream come true and I don't think, I mean, Hayden was humble um, and I think that he, I don't think in his wildest dreams he would have ever thought anything like this would have ever happened. He would be ecstatic but he would just be really touched and I just really feel like he's, he would be totally in awe of this whole thing. Like me? Really? So I made the drawing um, because the two rocks on it are twin rocks, which was a camp that Hayden always went to, and he always said that camp was the best place on earth. And then the waves because his he always loved the beach, and then the sunshine logo that was like the thing that was on his computer when Alex opened it up afterwards. Project Faithful was like, I knew he'd been working on it for like a while, and he also had like the F and stuff, and just like was messing around with it. And he had a lot of faith in him. On the inside, he was big on faith. He just, because of that smile and positivity and brightness, he just lit up everyone's lives. It was just simply opening his computer and seeing that that was what he was working on and the connection was made instantaneous. It just made sense. What would you tell him right now? What would I tell him? Like, if you were like here, I don't think I would tell him anything. I just think I would like give him a big hug. And 